You let me call over. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Come here. So that's our little tic tac. Let me grab him. Oh, there you go. This is uh, my big, big rooster, huh? New rooster of this year. So let me uh, just talk about something very essential. Huh? There you go, tic tac. Good boy, huh? Good boy. So, what do we have to talk about today? Um, today I'd like to talk about uh, something that happened to my chicken about uh, two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Uh, I was having uh, an issue with Koriza. So, if you don't know, uh, you don't have to show your uh, butt to the rest of the world. Look in the camera, that's why you have to see mine. So, um, what is Koriza? Koriza is actually like a cold for chicken. Uh, they actually get infected by a bacteria. And uh, what happens is that the sinuses uh, will start to uh, swell. And uh, also their eyes, they might be uh, swelling completely until they're completely closed. Uh, and this makes the chicken uh, starve to death. So there is a death rate of about uh, 20 to 50 percent uh, because of the cause of coriza or the snot they call it in Dutch um, and it's really a, a problem in the autumn time. So the problem is that with the coriza, um, well it's a bacteria, bacteria equals antibiotics and I don't like to uh, use antibiotics so it happened to me right uh, in on a Friday evening that I saw that one of the chicken was having a cold and by Saturday morning the entire, and this is how you can see the video now, the entire face was completely swollen and the chicken was uh, not able anymore to eat anything uh, or even uh, see anything. I uh, check on the internet in the evening because at that time I even didn't know what was actually going on with the chicken. The problem is, um, Sunday is a vet, <laughs> uh, is closed and Monday was a public national holiday. So I was uh, looking on the internet on uh, some Saturday evening and the only thing I could learn about uh, Koritza is that it's very similar to what they call also the pox. But the only th difference is, come here boy. Come here, I want to show something. Come here. Yeah, good boy, good boy. If they have uh, pox, actually, they will also have really pox. No, you don't have to eat that. They will also have pox on any part of their body uh, that is actually uh, not having any feathers. So uh, here are a couple of pictures of how pox looks like. And uh, one thing that is very important is actually to have the right diagnosis before you treat your chicken because the wrong diagnosis make the problem even worse. So um, after I've been reading all about it, uh, the symptoms of uh, Koritza or snot in Dutch um, is just the nose that swells, the eyes that swell and uh, as you can see from the video from my rooster um, the actual problem was starting to occur not only to my rooster the next day but also to other chicken because it is pretty contagious. So if it's contagious, uh, well you have to try to stop it as fast as possible because if they cannot eat anymore um, you have to force them to eat and it's the only way to actually get the chicken back on its feet. Now what I've done with my rooster when he was very very ill I decided to give him some cat food uh, with uh, beef meat and I forced the cat, mo the cat food uh, into his mouth so he had a lot of uh, proteins uh, that he could use to get over the illness. But on the other side, um, if I didn't have anti any antibiotics, I was going to s probably lose my uh, rooster. So what I did, um, and I know that you need to have um, antibiotics, so I went to have a check um, what I have at home, and this is what I had at home. So I had some antibiotics left over. Uh, from a treatment that I had about half a year ago 
and uh, the antibiotics that I was using is called uh, amoxy. Okay, let me try to get it right. <laughs> Amoxicillin, uh, amoxicillin or amoxymh, and these antibiotics they have 500 milligrams. So basically, um, of course, if you start to give these antibiotics and you give a whole pill, the chicken will likely die because it's way too much. So what I've done, and this was my last resort, and the results were amazing. So um, this is a human antibiotic. Let me just take out one pill. I used this pill already before, but this is just 500 milligrams. Now, how much do you need of these pills? Uh, well, it depends on the weight of the chicken, and this is how you have to proceed. So the very first thing you probably have to do is open up the pill and put it into a uh, glass. And when you open it up, it's going to be powder that's going to be inside. So let me just try to open this one up. And as you can see, when I open up, gradually you will see the powder coming out of the pill. And I just put the 500 milligrams uh, that's in the pill uh, in this um, glass here. Okay, there you go. And uh, it's way too much, so how do you serve this to the chicken? Well, the easiest way to serve this is to get a syringe and get 30 milliliters of water, okay? So, um, I just uh, mixed it with this water here. This is what I'm gonna do. And this is for the sake of this video, because, you know, I'll get more of these antibiotics very shortly. No, you cannot eat that. You cannot eat that. Don't eat that. Okay. You don't need to you, you don't need medi medication, you see. He's curious. My little rooster is curious. He's hungry. So you mix it with the water uh, thoroughly until uh, the solution in and you, you cannot see any particles anymore from uh, the antibiotic uh, powder. And you fill it up with the in into the syringe as well. And you take about one and a half milliliter per kilo that your chicken is. So if your chicken has about uh, two kilos, you are supposed to get between three, about between actually 1.5 milliliter to about two milliliters per kilo of weight of your chicken. So imagine your chicken is a chicken of two kilos, you should take between three and four. Um, I would say maybe take four, uh, three in the beginning and see how it reacts. So, and this you need to put it into the mouth of the chicken uh, and give it to the chicken twice a day. So once in the morning and once in the evening. And after about two or three treatments, uh, you will see within about 48 hours that this issue of um, Gorica will probably start to disappear and the chicken will start to gain his eyesight again because the sinuses will unswell. Uh, so this is for the 500 milligrams uh, of antibiotics. Uh, I'm not a very fanatic of antibiotics, but if this is the only thing you can do to make your chicken survive, uh, I would certainly recommend to do the same. Or give it a chicken once in the morning, once in the evening, and guaranteed within 48 hours your chicken will feel much better and might just even be cured completely. Uh, and you survive the chicken, but very important if you if you if you get into problems with um, you know the chicken that is uh, completely blind blinded because the sinuses are completely swollen, uh, just um, add uh, some food into their mouth just. You know, force them to eat because I know the chicken is not going to be happy to to have some forced uh, food into the mouth and use something like cat food. Uh, if you go to your neighbors, probably, and you don't have a cat, your your neighbors they will probably have a cat, so they will be able to. Yep, that's you, man. Um, no, yeah, he wants to eat this uh, pill here. So um, I'm not sure about other uh, antibiotics. Uh, it's something that I can only reassure with the ones that I've got right here. Just one more thing. Um, 
you can actually recognize the Koritza uh, issue because their eyes they will be swollen over here also the comb here might be also swollen and uh, they might have a very pale uh, color so uh, they will also probably just sit in a little corner they will probably not even uh, move anymore so I, I hope that just by making this video I can make your chicken survive now um, it's a little bit you know uh, at your own risk this is just a video uh, for those who are in the same situation as myself where you cannot go to the vet because uh, you know you, you have no possibility I would recommend you to go to the veterinary um, so to the vet because the vet will probably do the same they will probably also uh, prescribe uh, antibiotics these will be much lighter antibiotics that we as a humans uh, use uh, and will be more suitable for animals but this was my backup solution it helped me out with uh, from the flock I had about five to six chicken who were infected with the coriza uh, all the other ones, although they were all sleeping together on a very small surface, they didn't suffer from the uh, from the uh, corita, uh, the uh, snot, uh, so they didn't have this issue as well. And all the rest, they 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 didn't need any treatment at all. Okay, that's it for this little uh, short video about uh, the corita of the chicken. And uh, there we go. Thanks for listening, and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if I encounter some other issues with my chicken, I will let you know.